September is National Preparedness Month, but how exactly do we prepare for a natural disaster? And what do we do if one strikes? Joining us today is Nikia Mills with the Better Business Bureau. Thanks so much for being on with us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So what can we do prior to a natural disaster? Because I imagine that's everyone's number one regret. We have things in Michigan, we have tornadoes, we have flooding, and there's a lot of could have, would have, should have. Exactly. So how do we counteract that? The first thing you wanna do, look at your insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Understand it, know what's in it, see if you need to make some adjustments, because after the fact and all that stress, and it might be too late to change it, so make sure you know your coverage. And the second most important thing, be familiar with contractors beforehand, mm. because think about it, once you're in that stressful and it's already happened, that's when, I hate to say it, the scammers pop in and try to, you know, pressure you, get you to just make a decision quick because now you're stressed out. So if you already have vetted a few beforehand, you're not as stressed when it happens. So that's a very huge thing. And then the third thing is always just have a plan for what's your recovery? What are you gonna do? Do you have your documents somewhere safe so you can access all these things? You don't wanna to have to be trying to find stuff and heaven forbid, it's gone in the wind and a flood. So have all those items prepared. Absolutely. How much do you want to talk to your kids about this? Because you obviously don't wanna instill fear, but you want them to maybe be prepared and know the, the game plan yeah. to an extent. Not saying to make it a game, but you can kind of, kind of make it fun with your kids a little bit to kind of go through the motions of this is what we do, you mm -hmm. know? So they're not as scared when it does happen and they kind of feel like, oh, I know what to do with this. And then they're not freaking out. They're almost, not to say excited, but they're prepared and not, you know, scared when it's already a stressful time for your family. You already so. mentioned scams with potential contractors, and I've seen that working in this field, heard that so often. People think that they're putting down a deposit for oh, somebody gosh. to replace the roof, and then they got ripped off even more in this time of need. Are there any other scams like that that people need to be a little wary of, extra cautious? Definitely, but first I want to say in terms of those contractors, if anyone asks you to pay in full up front, no, 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 red that flag. is a giant red flag. And if they ask you to pay like with a gift card or through one of those cash peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, anything like that, don't do that because then you can't get your money back. That should be a red flag. So I'll say that first. Mm -hmm. um, and then in addition to that, watch out for government imposter scams. Those are huge. They pop up trying to make you think they're from the government. They have a grant to help you. If you just, you know, give them a little bit of cash first, don't fall for it. The impersonators really come out a lot. They'll come to your door with fake IDs. So just make sure you do any research before you sign contracts or give any information or any cash to anyone. Special type of person, and by special I mean terrible type of person yes. to take advantage of those already going through so much. Nikia Mills with the BBB, thank you. Thank we you. Appreciate it.